In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up view item as a Google Ads conversion through Google Tag Manager. Before set up this event, you must have to complete some stuff like a Google Tag on Google Tag Manager with Google Ads ID and a conversion linker tag. Which tutorial video link I have left in the description, please check that out. If you haven't done that yet, please check the video first then come to this video we will follow three steps in this video first we will create a conversion on google ads account and then create a tag on google tag manager then test and publish the updated gtm container so let's start first let me introduce myself i'm sultan an expert web analyst and a professional freelancer working on marketplaces like upwork and fiverr you can see I am a top rated talent on Upwork with 100% job success and a level 1 seller on Fiverr with 5 star ratings. If you need my services, you can place an order on these marketplaces. Otherwise, you can contact me on my WhatsApp number or Gmail like you can see below the video. Ok, now let's start the tutorial. This is my Google Ads account and this is my Google Tag Manager account connected with my website. In the first step, I will create a conversion on Google Ads account. From the left menu, hover the mouse on goals and then click on conversion and then go to summary. Then click new conversion action. Since I'm going to create the conversion for my website, so I will select website. I'm going to enter my website URL here to scan. You can see scanning your website will determine if it's already set up to measure conversions. So I will hit on scan. Here we go, scanning is complete. Now either we can use website events to create conversion actions or create them manually. Since I'm going to create the conversion with Google Tag Manager, so we have to choose here, create them manually. So I will click here, add a conversion action manually. Now I will select the goal category. So click on select category. We can see here, there is no option for view item so from more categories i will select other then i will name the conversion google ads view item then we have to give the conversion a value like we can see we can use the same value for each conversion that means for each view item or we can use different values for each view item or we can choose don't use a value for this view item action for view item tag there is a value for this conversion because we know view item event means a customer is visiting a particular product page that has a particular value so i will choose from here use different values for each conversion and leave the field as it is because we will create a variable for product value and then i want to count every page visit as a conversion so i will choose from here every and then I will keep all the settings as there then I will click done here we go we can see our conversion is created now I will click here save and continue it's giving us instructions to finish the setup so we have to choose from here use Google Tag Manager then what we need from here is this conversion ID and this conversion label now we will create a tag on Google Tag Manager for Google Ads view item conversion so I will keep this tab as it is then go to google tag manager and then go to tags menu then take a new tag tag configuration and i will choose from here google ads and then google ads conversion tracking now enter here the conversion id now either we can go to google ads account and copy this conversion id and then paste here or we can create a constant variable with this conversion id like i have shown in the previous video so i'm gonna insert that variable here google ads conversion id then we have to enter here conversion label so for this label go to google ads account and then from conversion labels copy this label and then paste here and then conversion value for this value we have to create a variable so I have to go to preview from Google Tag Manager. So I'm going to duplicate this tab. Then go to preview. And then connect. Tag assistant connected. Now let's visit item page. 
here you go tag assistant connected now let's go to tag assistant tab and click on continue from the left menu we will find out view item event here you go this is the view item event if i click here we will get data layer of this event if i click here we can see data layer dot push now we can create value variable and currency variable using this data layer so i will open the first google tag manager tab and click on this plus icon to create the variable then again click on plus icon variable configuration and i will choose from here data layer variable and the data layer variable name will be go to tag assistant tab and copy from here e-commerce and then <coughs> currency and i will also copy from here items and then price go to google tag manager and paste here e-commerce then dot then items then again dot then zero then dot then price and i will entitle the variable view item price then save here you go our variable has been inserted already and then transaction id we know the view item event has no transaction id it's only for purchase event and then currency code for this currency code i will create again a variable so click on plus icon and again plus icon and then variable configuration and choose from here data layer variable and the variable name will be paste here e-commerce and then dot and then currency i will entitle the variable currency and then save here you go the variable is inserted already then for now i will keep all the settings as they are then simply go to triggering for view item tag i have already created a trigger named view item with custom event but i want to show you how to create this trigger so click on this plus icon trigger configuration and choose from here custom event and then go to tag assistant tab and from data layer copy this event name and then go to google tag manager and paste here the event name and then enter till the trigger then save that's it so i will discard it and use the previous trigger view item and then enter till the tag i will enter till it google ads view item and then save here you go we can see our tag is ready now i will go to google ads account and click here done we should notice here that the conversion view item status is inactive when we will run ads campaign on google through this ads account then this conversion will start collecting the data now finally we will test the tag and publish the container so let's go to google tag manager and then go to preview enter here website url and click on connect here you go tag assistant connected now let's visit item page let's go to tag assistant tab and click on continue we can see google ads view item tag has been fired one time that means it's working now if i go to google ads account you can see it's still inactive now i will refresh this page now we can see its status inactive has been changed to no recent conversions and that's because of getting signal from our preview mode when we will run ads campaign then again its status will change to active so we can be sure our tag is working properly now let's submit and publish the google tag manager container i will name the version google ads view item conversion setup and then publish so viewers that's all for now if you think that this tutorial has added some value to you please give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time and if you're new here and like to see this kind of valuable tutorial please subscribe to my channel so see you in another video until then goodbye thank you so much